Hello, welcome to Jake's Storytime. I might make this a regular feature actually. So in this video, I'm going to give you two stories that tenuously link me to two famous celebrities. The first celebrity is not that famous, a sort of YouTube celebrity, and the second one is an ultra super mega star. So let's get on with the video. So the first celebrity is Tanya Burr. You may have heard of her. She's a YouTuber who does, or used to do, sort of makeup tutorials. She got famous through that and the fact that like 90% of her family are also YouTubers now. But now she wants to be an actor and she films her extravagant lifestyle in her lovely London house, jetting off to foreign countries and not really doing much work. Oh, I sound quite bitter, don't I? I'm quite a bitter person. Anyway, Tanya Burr is actually from the same city as me. She's actually from... Norwich, which like most places in the UK, people describe as being about a hundred miles from London. Anyway, Tanya actually used to go to the same school as a lot of my friends um, in Norwich. And so a lot of my friends have got a lot of stories about going to school with Tanya. Sadly, they all say that she was lovely and a pleasure and really delightful and you couldn't not like her, uh, which isn't very interesting for a YouTube video. So we'll just skip over those. But I did actually meet Tanya once, and this is my uh, tenuous link. I went to a house party once with my friend. Uh, we'll call him Adam, but his name wasn't Adam. It's like Adam. You might be able to guess. This is a rubbish game, isn't it? This house party was in the middle of nowhere, and it's before the days of GPS, so we had to drive around aimlessly in my new car. I'd just learned to drive, driving around in my Seat Arosa, which is a red car that looked like Postman Pat's van. And eventually we found this little cottage in the middle of the countryside and went inside. There were lots of 16 to 18 year olds in there. We just started university. We were probably 20 years old and we were mainly there to see if my friend's sister was there. Nothing was going to happen, but my friend and I really enjoyed going somewhere, having a bad time and then talking about it later. So that's why we were at this party. Looking through her sort of MySpace profile, this is before Facebook, I found a friend on there that was quite distinctive. She had big lips. She almost looked like a celebrity, which is funny if you think about it. Over in the corner of the room, I recognised this girl that I'd seen on my friend's MySpace profile, and her name was Tanya Burr. So, for some reason, I went up to her and said, Excuse me, are you Tanya Burr? She looked at me and her face brightened. She grinned from ear to ear and she said, how do you know who I am? I am Tanya. And I sort of tried to be a bit nonchalant, uh, which didn't work. And then she followed by saying, oh, you've seen my profile on MySpace, haven't you? So she wasn't very uh, happy at that point. Um, in fact, generally, she was quite a grumpy looking person, which is not really her persona on YouTube now, but she seemed almost quite emo -y, you know, this kind of like depressing sort of personality that um, some teenagers have at high school. My friend and I talked to her for a little bit longer. Um, she happened to ask us how old we were. So we asked how old she was. She was 16, I think, at the time. And we said, oh, we're 20. And then she said, oh, you're dying. Oh, that's not very nice. What do you mean we're dying? And then she told us that the cells in your body start to die slowly once you reach the age of 18. Um, which is quite an odd thing to say, but I think she was 16, so we can forgive her for that, I think. And then some music came on, on the iPod. I think it would have been an iPod back then. Um, and we said, oh, what's this music? Because she'd sort of expressed interest in it. And she kind of looked at us with disgust. Oh, my emails. Oh, I've got an email. And said, oh... It's New Wave. Don't you know what New Wave is? Um, and we didn't know what New Wave was. And she sort of told us. She then asked us if we were gay. Um, I think this is a theme for Tanya, though, because she did actually ask her current husband if he was gay when they first met. Um, and admittedly, my friend and I did look a little bit like a couple because we used to go everywhere uh, together. Tanya was the only person we talked to at that party. Uh, and then we left. And that was really the end of that kind of story. What happened from there was that Tanya met Jim Chapman, whose um, sisters were famous YouTubers, and now they're all famous YouTubers. Tanya and Jim don't live in Norwich anymore, uh, but occasionally they come back. They're a nice couple, just a bit sad that uh, they're famous and I'm not. <laughs> I'll get over it. So now on 
to the main feature, the superstar celebrity that I know. Well, it's a tenuous link to them. And that is Ed Sheeran. Yes, the famous superstar Ed Sheeran. So turns out he's actually from Norwich as well. Well, he's not from Norwich, but everyone from Norwich says he is. I think he's from Framingham, Framlingham, but Norfolk's adopted him because he's successful. Before he was famous, he used to actually play music at um, the Art Centre in Norwich, which is a sort of indie um, music venue that hosts small artists and even plays and things like that. Um, quite a nice alternative music venue so he used to play there and I've got two friends two brothers am I still friends with them yeah I'm still friends with them but actually someone in that group I've fallen out with quite majorly oh gossip anyway they used to go and see him and not because they liked his music sadly but to take the mickey which is a sort of British term for being not very nice they weren't abusive but they weren't going under the right pretenses. They weren't going to enjoy his music. They were kind of going to laugh at him. They used to come back from these little Ed Sheeran gigs and tell us how he was stupid looking, how he took himself too seriously, how he thought he was better than he was, and how nobody liked him. Um, which clearly wasn't true, because now he's a world-famous celebrity, possibly the most... Um, successful musician of the last sort of five years which is absolutely extraordinary but they used to shout out at him and say oh Ed we love you which isn't I guess that bad a thing to do uh, but they didn't mean it they were just sort of taking the mickey I wonder what they think of him now actually I should probably go back and ask I wonder if they still don't like his music I do quite like his music I didn't originally but actually I think he's really good I'll leave a link to my favorite Ed Sheeran songs down below if you want to have a listen uh, for yourself um, anyway that's my two famous celebrity stories not that good really are they uh, so maybe I shouldn't do any more of these videos anyway let me know if you've got a connection with any famous celebrities down below maybe I could steal your stories and pretend they're my own just a suggestion do subscribe if you like my videos and I shall see you next time for another one